The Atari Jaguar, a misunderstood console. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a subset category of games on the Atari Jaguar. Games that use the rotary controller. I'm going to share the majority of games. Games you may want to check out. There's some alternative ways of checking out these games. But you can play them on emulator or you can use a, a Jaguar game drive or you can get them on physical um, in this video, I'm just going to share kind of what type of Jaguar games have rotary support. I'm going to share some gameplay. So sit back, relax. Here we go. I've seen a couple different configurations over the years of rotary controller options. Machine has the most affordable options, a DIY option. It comes with a Jaguar box and kit. You can modify an original controller. The other option that I see currently on the market is BD Retro Mods, and they offer a rotary controller, and this doesn't replace the D-pad, so it's like you can choose D-pad or rotary. Here are some of the games that offer rotary controller support. This is actually an Atari ST game that's been converted. You can also use a Atari ST or Amiga mouse with an adapter to play this but I really enjoy playing it with a Jaguar rotary controller and it just kind of brings back that arcade feel. This is a great conversion of the classic arcade game. And you know what? Uh, you know, I know there's Jaguar fans watching this video or just curious about what obscure uh, oddities are on the Atari Jaguar. And you know, that subcategory of rotary controller games is gonna appeal to a lot of people and you're going to appreciate your Jaguar, what it was capable of. One of the better Jaguar aftermarket games is Rebooteroids by Reboot, and this is on physical, as well as there is a download version I'm going to talk about in a bit. And this is really taking that Asteroids-style gameplay and making it like a 2000 series on the Jaguar with great effects. And using that rotary controller, man, this just like bumps it up a notch and it really just has that awesome arcade feel to it you know and it makes it a unique atari jaguar game i really love what reboot has done with this and i'm not the biggest asteroids fan but i really enjoy this one it makes it a lot of fun to play uh you know it has awesome gameplay um and you know what it just just takes me back to a, a more simpler time now there is a caravan edition on reboots patron uh, page for seven dollars and fifty cents machine who's offering the diy atari jaguar rotary controllers he also offers complete ones uh it's fully assembled as well uh, but he's also doing a tournament on this particular version of the game in february it's still active and you still have some time to jump in and post your score I did a YouTube short on this as well. Just a fantastic version of the game. You have three minutes to get the highest score possible. You can play this with a standard controller as well. Games I'm showing today, you can use a regular controller. There are a pair of classic games on the physical cart release rebooted, as well as more information on Reboot's website. And this is Downfall and this adds rotary controller support it's a fun game and you can play this tournament style as well but i really enjoyed this one and it's really cool that a lot of reboots classic games do offer rotary controller support when available and this is one of the better ones but also on the same cartridge release available at atari age is kobayashi maru and this is kind of a, a, a take on time pilot with that rotary controller support, pretty awesome. And I'm a big Time Pilot fan of the classic arcade games. Really nice to see a Jaguar version offered on this uh, classic cart compilation. And really sweet to see this being offered. There is a downloaded version that you can go to Reboot's website and check out. I don't know if it has rotary controller support. In the comments below, let me know if you've played any of these as well, as this is a pretty fun game, appealing to people that might have grown up with Time Pilot, or may just want to check out something different for your Atari Jaguar. And so, 
This next game is kind of interesting. So it's like a conversion of an Atari Falcon game, which is a take on Breakout. So it's not necessarily fully Arkanoid. It's kind of its own thing. But I got this on physical a long time ago and Songbird Productions offered it. Uh, you know, and I don't know where you can get this on physical. Uh, I don't know where you can download it, but you know what? Uh, this is Impulse X and this is another paddle style game. But again, those are the types of games that work really well with rotary controllers. Look, it's just got a really nice smooth uh, transition from the paddle left to right. Really well done here. I really like this version of you know a breakout style game for the Atari Jaguar and having it on physical it was included with a couple other games and you know what um, I really enjoy these paddle types of games there are also a couple homebrew releases this is Kaboom and you can find this uh, game to download for your, your game drive if you want to go that route on Atari Age and this has achievements, has different options. And so what it is, is it's pretty much a, like essentially a, a very close port to the Atari 2600 version of Kaboom. And, you know, I really like these types of games. These are the types of games like with a game drive that you can go and explore. And that's what I really enjoy about uh, the Atari Jaguar uh, aftermarket game community still offering these types of games and projects you know the Atari Jaguar was really misunderstood and you know commercially it was a total failure but these types of games still keeping the aftermarket uh, alive and being offered for free you can just download this game and enjoy it and check it out and you know I could totally see a, uh, a tournament being ran on a game like this and with a rotary controller uh, you know what this plays amazing then you have a couple simple projects such as project w which was a take on warlords for the atari jaguar i don't think it was completed but i want to show it and represent it here as it was part of a discussion on atari age years ago about rotary controller games and it is one of the few uh homebrew games that offers that rotary controller support and I want to show what it what looked like here. Also, there was Pong, and I don't know if these games were ever complete. Uh, the Pong game is a single experience that I, uh, for, as far as I can tell, and wanted to show it here, as it does work with a rotary controller. No, I didn't forget about the biggest rotary game on the Atari Jaguar, and that's Tempest 2000. And what's crazy is that there was a hidden menu option in the settings using a standard controller and hitting option in on a controller one and then hitting pause on both controllers both the rotary and original controller at the same time you will bring up a secret menu in which you can if you choose this is a two-player game use rotary controllers and that's so awesome. And this is the numero uno game to play with a rotary controller. I didn't forget about it. It is fantastic. And once you play this game with a rotary controller, you're not gonna wanna go back. It's just, it's, it's simply just a much better game and a better way to control it. As I think it's one of the best games on the Atari Jaguar's original releases and simply a game, a must play. There are a few other rotary games I do believe that are on the Jaguar, but these are the main ones and I wanted to share them with you. I think a few of them are absolutely fantastic to play with the rotary controller support. So if you played any of these in the comments below, let me know. I'm gonna share some of the links where you can check out some options for rotary controllers, as well as you may wanna check out the Atari Age store where you can get a few of these games still and it's a great way to play these and enjoy a kind of rare console that often got overlooked because its commercial releases weren't the best, but the aftermarket support continues and it's really neat to see that. 
Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you take care.